The 2014 Coca-Cola Kai Majola Cricket Week got underway in Pretoria on Wednesday the 17th of December despite some wet conditions. Over 200 of the country's finest schoolboy cricketers were on display and the action was intense. The first day saw the teams lock horns in declaration cricket which would put all of the youngsters skills to the test. Western Province took on Free State at the St Albans Oval and the Cape side made an excellent start with Matthew Christensen and Chris Graham putting on 108 for the first wicket. Christensen fell for 78 before an excellent unbeaten century from number 4 Carl Varane lifted Western Province to an imposing 284 for 6 declared. In reply, Free State batted steadily to reach 135 for 4 before the match was called for a draw. Kurt Pinar, the pick of the Free Staters, with 64. Yeah, I mean, especially this deck was really flat and really nice to bat on, so yeah, it's probably going to be a lot of rounds this tournament. Titans franchise rivals in Pumalanga and Limpopo had their match shifted to the Pretoria boys' high fields because of heavy rains. Limpopo reached 205 for 9 before declaring. Johan Lowe top scored with 53, whilst in Pumalanga's spinning duo of Benjamin Finikirk and Sia Mahima claimed two wickets apiece. In reply, Mpumalanga looked in all sorts of trouble at 39 for 5, before Fanikirk and Matthew Nepchen put on 86. Nepchen was stumped off the bowling of Etienne Boerta, but Fanikirk continued to play with freedom to get to 79 before being bowled by Assad Patel. His dismissal effectively brought an end to the hopes of an Mpumalanga victory, the Pumas finishing on 186 for 8, with a match ending in a draw. KZN Coastal took on host Union Northerns in the other match played at Victoria Boys High. KZN were looking good with Tafara Muparira and Jerome Bossa at the crease before Stefan Klopper tightened the screws. The SA under 19 spinner ran through the KZN lineup, claiming seven wickets to skittle them for just 171. In reply, Northerns struggled to 86 for six before the match petered out to a draw. Klopper's seven for 35 set Northerns up nicely but some tight bowling and sharp fielding from KZN kept the hosts bogged down in their chase. I'm very happy with the performance today. I managed to, to land the ball in the right areas and uh, the wickets looked after itself. The other KZN side, KZN Inland, took on Eastern Province at the CBC Old Boys Club. Sohail Mahmood batted beautifully up front for Inland alongside Brandon Tatum. Unfortunately for Inland, Tatum was stunned for 30. Mahmood continued to score with ease before he fell for 63 with Inland on 116 for 3. A collapse ensued and at 126 for 7, Inland were in all sorts of trouble before Stephen Reeves notched up an unbeaten 80 at number 8. Inland finished on 254 all out and in response, EP never seemed too keen on chasing down the total, despite some stern work from Brad Haller. The captain battled hard to reach 52 off 144 balls. EP fought to 121 for 7 to save the match, scraping through with a draw in the end. There were four other matches on day one that took place. Boerland fought hard to reach a draw against a strong Gauteng lineup. An unbeaten 57 from Tim Niemand revived Border to see them to a draw against SWD. A Lawrence Steenkamp half century helped Northwest to a first innings win over Easterns. Whilst Namibia claimed the day's only outright win after bowling Greg was out for 57 in their first innings. All in all, a very interesting first day's play, which saw two five-wicket hauls, a century and 1450s being registered. An exciting day two lies in wait, where declaration cricket will once again be the order of the day.